Hey everyone, here at Belmere most of our trucks are adapted to take a fourth axle. It's not a complicated system, but I'm going to give you some tricks that will hopefully save you some time and help you be more efficient. Let's go! Before we install the fourth axle, we're going to slide back the fifth wheel. We're going to center the fifth wheel over the rear drive axle. This gives us our best weight distribution and gives us the axle spacing we need for the permits. If you're driving an older series truck, the hook points are set a little bit lower and you'll need to back up on three to four inch blocks. With the newer series trucks, this step is not necessary. We can pick up the fourth axle directly under the airbags using the forklift. We begin with the upper attachment points, making small movements with the forklift until the holes are perfectly aligned. Once the top pins are installed, we can release the pressure to line up the bottom holes. After all four pins are installed, we can remove the forklift. We lower the suspension and then we're ready to connect the air lines and electrical cord being sure to pass them underneath the frame. In passing the hoses under the frame, we can avoid damage that could be caused by the kingpin. Okay. 
we verify that the suspension valve is open and that the safety chain or strap is loose. We can now raise the suspension and don't forget to inspect your axle. If taking a Talbert trailer, advancing the kingpin will help in weight balancement and axle spacing. If taking a mini deck or double drop style trailer, the goosenecks are shorter and we'll need to back up the fifth wheel all the way. The reason we didn't back up the fifth wheel all the way from the beginning is because we needed to access our hoses. If your double drop is empty, it is possible to back up the fifth wheel. However, if your double drop is loaded or if you're missing good ground traction, I recommend using another trailer. Lastly, it's happened to all of us to forget the very first step, which is to back up the fifth wheel. The easiest solution is to find a trailer with a Jeep extension, and using this you'll be able to back up your fifth wheel. Thank you for listening and have a good trip. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.